Hey guys, what up? Uh, Nightmare Gamer here. So, caught before the pony. This episode was actually it started off pretty interesting. The CMC decided to go with a different type of car. You know what? Jolie, explain it. Just remember, every pony, your cart has to be able to finish the race if you want to win one of the awards. Fastest for winning the race, naturally. Most traditional for the best working replica of an original Applewood cart. And most creative for the cart with the best overall design. Okay, so instead of the CMC going with the ones that we would expect them to go with, they went with the ones that we wasn't going to expect. But the biggest problem with this episode was they asked the sisters to help and they took over this whole episode. Took over what the cards are going to look like, what they're going to do. And exactly. I'm kind of glad to see Rainbow Dash, Applejack, and Rarity all crash at the end. And the CMC got to build the card they wanted. All around this episode was okay. I'll recommend give it a watch, but don't want. But the real thing that got me really thinking was who was those background ponies in the back? Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm talking about the elderly pony that was walking with Diamond Tiara, the stallion that was walking with Snap, and the little filly that was walking with Dorpy. And speaking about Dorpy, oh my god, I laughed so hard when I seen Rarity actually lost to Dorpy when she was a filly. Oh boy, that just made me giggle like the school girl. I mean, that was just priceless. <laughs> just think about it, I'm laughing. <laughs> but, yes. Caught Before the Pony, highly recommend, give it a watch, and tell me what you guys thought about it. This has been Nightmare Gamer, sign off until next time. Peace. Be this excited? Me? Oh, why, I'm just itching to ride an old wrong from long, long ago. I designed my own cart when I was just a filly, and I was positive I was going to win the prize for most creative hooves down. But I came in second. Second!